guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm actually going to be bringing you guys a bit of a different video. It's going to be my top five favourite cheap informs on FIFA 17. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys five different informs that cost between around 10 and 30,000 coins from a variety of different leagues and nations that you guys can bring straight into your teams, and they're going to get you a lot of goals, a lot of assists, and just be very, very good players and really improve your team because these are some of the best and most overpowered players. I've used on FIFA 17 and a lot of them are hidden gems that no one really seems to use maybe because they're a league and nation or maybe just because they've gone under the radar and no one really seems to have noticed them but these five players you guys can go and pick them up pretty cheaply bring them into your foot champion teams and they're going to improve it they're very very good players and I really would recommend trying out all of them and I don't just have strikers and attacking players I've got a winger a striker a couple of midfielders and also a defender so lots of different options for you guys to go and pick up and it is ordered from five to one so in order of which ones I do prefer the most but all of these players are very, very good. And I know it's a bit different to my normal trading and squad building videos, but if you guys would actually like to see this turn into a series where maybe each week I bring out a video, or maybe the top five best cheap for birthday cards or best team of the group stage cards, anything like that, and then let me know in the comment section down below and leave a like on the video to let me know. And also, if there are any players that you think should be in this top five who aren't in it, then leave a comment down below letting me know who your favourite cheap inform on FIFA 17 is. It is just a matter of opinion, but the five players I'm going to show you are very, very good and have played very, very well for me and have scored me a lot of goals and just been very good players for me. So if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, and without further ado, let's go on into it. Starting off, we've got the first and only defender in this top five, and it's going to be Lorenzo Tonelli from Napoli in the Calcio A. He's going to set you back just under 20,000 coins on both consoles, and in the seven games I played with him, he actually managed to get a goal for my team. Now, taking a look at his in-game stats, you guys can see very, very good stats, especially when it comes to mental and physical stats. Very high aggression, good inceptions, great balance, agility, and also good pace and strength. Very rare to see that on a centre back and you guys can see on the right this is his card with the anchor camera style applied boost him up to a 91 rating in game 85 pace 95 defending and 89 physical so definitely do use that camera style on him it turns him into an absolute beast now taking a look at the clips you guys are going to be seeing just how good he is at winning the ball back getting the ball playing it forwards creating chances for my team going forwards and he's actually very comfortable on the ball he doesn't have the best stats going forwards but he can do stuff like this a ball roll past the one defender and then he just puts it into the top corner uh, so he can actually score you some goals. He's good on the ball. And uh, if you if you do like playing out from the back, he's going to be perfect for you. But what he's best at is winning the ball back. Defensively, he's so, so good. And you will be seeing a lot of clips of that throughout this video. He's very good at just winning the ball back and playing it forwards. And he just wins the ball so many times. Very, very good when it comes to tackling. And I think what I like the most about him is his interceptions, his aggression. He just gets in front of defenders and attackers like that. I mean, he just managed to get straight in front of that guy pushed in front of him, got the ball back and uh, played it forwards and actually ended up scoring. So he's so good at just breaking up the play and then getting forward. So you can see there, great inception, just diving in in front of my opponent's attacker. And that's what I'm talking about with the aggression, a really aggressive slide tackle there, getting the ball back. He's a very aggressive player. He's got very high interceptions and he can just win the ball back so easily. He's always in the right places. Wherever you need him at the back, he's going to be there ready to get the ball back and uh, ready to just help out your team. And to start an attack, he's so, so good at just doing that, getting in the way, intercepting the ball, tackling people. I mean, you guys can see he's making so many great tackles in the clips you can see in the background. And I'm getting chances from a lot of these because he's not just smashing the ball up the pitch. He's able to, to keep the ball. He's able to play it forwards and create chances for me. And not many defenders can do that. He's a very good defender, very cheap as well, plays in a great league, would definitely recommend him. In at the number four spot, we've got Gregoire Defrel, and he's by far the cheapest in form in this top five. He's going to cost you around about 11,000 coins. He plays for Sassuolo in this area, and he's French as well, so a very, very good player for building teams around. And looking at his stats, with the Maestro Chemistel on, he becomes absolutely insane. But you guys can see he's got some very good stats, 93 acceleration. He's got good finishing, very good dribble good ball control but with that maestro camera still 89 pace 87 shooting 91 dribbling as well and he managed to get me a goal per game as well as an assist so that's a great return for someone who's very very cheap and he's so good when it comes to dribbling that's what you're going to be seeing throughout these clips in the background i think that's kind of the standout stat for me his dribbling is so so good he can just beat players so easily with very very good aggression i mean you guys can see he's got 93 aggression but he just has such a good burst of pace. Once he gets the ball, he can just knock it on past the defender and no one's catching up with him. It's like using someone like a Barbo or Quadrado. I've used them in the past. And you always have that burst of pace. You can get past players so easily. It's the same with someone like Player of the Month Sterling. That's what makes them very good. They've got good agility, good balance, and they can just get past people so easily. I mean, look at this. 
He just dribbles past that defender very, very easily. And once he's past him, no one's catching up with him. He's so, so quick, so quick off the mark. Once he beats someone with a skill move with a ball roll, a roulette, or just knocking it past a defender, no one's catching up with him just because he's got such good pace. And he's very, very good on the ball. His dribbling is very good. With the Maestro camera style, it actually gets boosted up in-game to around about 91 or so. So he's very, very good when it comes to dribbling. Very good close control. He doesn't have the force that skill moves, but you can do roulettes, you can do ball rolls. And he is actually very, very good on the ball. His passing as well is great. Look at this. It's a very nice dribbling. And uh, he just spotted the run and played it through to Abubakar. And he puts it into the back of the net. And that was some very, very good play right there from Defrel. And, I mean, you will just see so many clips from it. Look at that really nice dribbling there. Just keeps the ball very close to his feet. Again, keeps the ball in there. Plays it to Fernando. And then Fernando plays the ball back into him. And he hits it with the first time outside of the foot finesse shot. Very, very nice goal right there. And he was just so good on the ball. He's so quick. Unstoppable. And a very, very good finish as well. Really can't recommend him enough. If you're looking for a good, cheap French striker, especially one in the Cal A, He's a great option. Next up, we've got the Senegalese beast, Moussa Sow. He's going to set you back around about 30,000 coins, but he is so, so worth it. His card is absolutely ridiculous. Taking a look at some of his in-game stats, look at those mental and physical stats. 92 agility. He's got very, very good pace there at 87 sprint speed. 81 strength as well. 90 attacking positioning. Having a player with such high pace, strength, and agility is so rare. It makes him so hard to get the ball off. And looking at some of his skill attributes, 88 finishing, 82 dribbling, very good ball control, good long shots. He's got 88 volleys, 88 shot power. He's just such a good player. And if you move him out to a striker, use that Hawk camera style, 95 pace, 94 shooting, 84 physical. There's some of the stats you're going to be seeing if you use that Hawk camera style on him. And I would recommend moving up to a striker if you do want in-game, just because he's even more suited to playing as a striker, because he's tall, he's going to be good in the air as well. His jumping is very, very good. He is just an absolute beast. I've done a video on him in the past when he first came out in the Team of the Week. And he really is one of my favourite players I've used on this game. He is the definition of a tank. He is unstoppable. Once he's on the ball, no one can catch up with him because not only is he very quick, he's also got very high strength and very high agility and balance. And it's so rare to see a player with not only good agility, not only good balance, but also very good strength and pace. It's so, so rare. And that combo of stats makes him so hard to get the ball off. And his dribbling is also very, very good, which even further enhances that it makes him just unstoppable look at this the defender tries to muscle him off the wall no way is that happening he just barges past him and rolls it into the back of the net his finishing is very good as well his long shots are great i've not used his man of the match card as a striker i imagine that is probably one of the best players on this game but look at the strength there i mean that defender had no chance once he gets going he is absolutely unstoppable he is so so good on the ball he's so strong he's so quick and look at this look at that dribbling right there again someone tries to out muscle him but Sal, he's just getting straight past, and he crosses it in. Really nice ball there into Parolo. His passing's also good. He's very good at creating chances for your team. But when he really comes into his own, is chances like this. He just runs at defenders, and he's just unstoppable. He is so, so good. And his finishing is very good as well. His shot power is crazy. He can just smash them into the back of the net. Very good from range as well. Definitely do try out his long shots and his free kicks as well. His free kicks are decent, but his dribbling is great. And he really is just an absolute monster. You really have to try him out. If you haven't already, can't recommend him enough. Look at that burst of pace right there. And he puts it into the back of the net. What a player. Really can't recommend him enough. I have done a squad builder on him. I'll leave a link down below to that. But really can't recommend him enough. Next up, we've got one of the best dribblers I've used on FIFA 17. And it is first in form 84 rated Alejandro Gomez playing for Atalanta in the Serie A. And he really is the cheap Messi or the cheap Paolo Dybala. His stats are absolutely ridiculous, especially with the Maestro Kevin style applied. But taking a look at some of his mental and physical stats, you guys can see 96 agility, 98 balance, 94 acceleration. His stats are so good. He's also got very, very good long shots, good ball control, crossing, dribbling, curve, decent finishing, good short passing. But with the Maestro Chemist style, 91 pace, 96 dribbling, 86 shooting, 88 passing. Those stats are very, very similar to Lionel Messi. And if you take a look at the specialities and traits as well, he's got a lot of different ones there, including the dribbler speciality. And he really is such a good dribbler. I've used Messi, I've used Neymar, I've used players from Sterling, players like that. And Gomez really is up there. With that Maestro chemistry, he has 96 dribbling. That is the same as Messi. And he feels like Messi on the ball. His dribbling is so, so good. And he's not the strongest of players. He's not the tallest of players. But he's got 99 agility, 99 balance, and about 95 pace with the Maestro chemistry. And that makes him absolutely unstoppable because once he gets going no one's catching up with him because he's just too quick if they try and push him over he's got 99 agility and balance and so no one can really get him off the ball he's so so good at dribbling he keeps the ball very close to his feet 
he has an amazing burst of acceleration. With the Maestro Chemistry Ollie, he's got near 99 acceleration. So one touch, knock it ahead of the defender, and no one's catching up with him. But look at this goal right here. Look at the dribbling. The body faints. He just mugs off two defenders, rolls it into the back of the net. What a finish. And just some great dribbling. He's so, so good. And I was playing him as an attacking midfielder, and he was getting a lot of goals, a lot of assists. Look at that. For just a defense splitting ball, plays it through to Barolo and he puts it into the back of the net. Gomez, you can play him as a centre mid, an attack midfielder, a centre forward, even a striker, and he's so easy to build into teams. You can maybe use him with Defrel and Tonelli in a Serie A team. And then you're using three of my top five favourite informs on this game, all in one team. That would be a very good team. He's also very good when it comes to passing, 86 passing, I believe, with the Maestro Chemistyle applied. But uh, yeah, you can play him pretty much any way you want. I played him as a cam. I think he'd be very good at centre forward, very good at striker as well. But he really is a, such a good player. His dribbling is amazing. His dribbling, I'd say it's in my top three favourite players when it comes to dribbling on this game. He's so, so good on the ball. He can beat players with ease. His long shots are very good as well. His finishing's great. And I really can't recommend him enough. Look at that finish to finish off the clips. But uh, yeah, he's a, definitely a great player. Really would recommend you guys trying him out. And finally, to finish off this top five, we've got the 81 rated Christian Pulisic playing for Bridgia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. And he's got me 12 goals and two assists in eight games. And he's my favourite in form on FIFA 17. Regardless of budget, he's the best in form I've used. And taking a look at some of his stats 99 jumping, 97 stamina, 86 sprint speed, 87 balance, 94 acceleration, 92 agility. And uh, just some very, very good stats across the board. Good dribbling, good finishing, good ball control as well. 90 short passing, definitely a stat to bear in mind there. But 63 long shots. Bear that in mind because later on you'll see some very good long shots. That is a complete lie. His long shots are very, very good and actually one of the best things about him in my opinion. But you guys are going to be seeing in the clips in the background just how good he is. And I'm not too sure why he's actually this good because his stats aren't as good as someone like Alejandro Gomez that you've just seen in the number two position. I've, I've used a lot of players who have better stats than Pulisic, but no one comes close to him really because I don't know why, but his dribbling is absolutely ridiculous. I've put him in my top three favorite dribblers on this game. Up there with Messi, Alejandro Gomez, um, and yeah, I'd probably put him number one, maybe, maybe number two, I'm not too sure, but his dribbling is so good. I mean, you're gonna see a lot of clips in, in this video of him just beating defenders like they're not even there. He cuts through defenses like a knife through butter. He just tears them apart. I mean, look at that. He just gets past the de those defenders so easily. It's because of his very high agility and balance, because he doesn't have as high dribbling as someone like Gomez or Messi, but I think because of his very high agility and balance and his good pace and acceleration, he can just beat defenders so easily. But something else that really stood out was his finishing. I believe he has around about 92 finishing with the finisher chemistry applied. But uh, his finishing, it feels like he's got about 150 finishing because every single finish just goes into the back of the net. I've not used a player who is more clinical than him. And I often miss a lot of opportunities with players I normally use, but I just didn't with Pulisic. But look at that for just a great bit of play from him. He didn't get the goal. He got an assist right there, but he just tore past the defense. He wasn't even having to sprint. Just using the LCRT dribbling, he managed to get past the defenders like they weren't even there. And if you use Pulisic, that's what you're going to be getting. A player who can just beat defenders so easily, so fun to use. But something else that just stood out as a stat, which I have no idea why he's good at, it's his heading. He's five foot seven, but he scored two headers. Uh, you guys can see another one right here. I think it's because he has 99 jumping, I do believe, and also good positioning. But if he ever gets any space in the box, he's going to be winning the header and putting it into the back of the net. And he's five foot seven, but he wins headers. That's just something about him. Another, another thing, really, that kind of adds up to making such a good player that doesn't have amazing stats. Like, yeah, he's got good pace. He's got decent dribbling, decent finishing, but he's got he's quite weak as well. But if you look at his stats, he doesn't look as good as he really is in-game. Just give him a go because he is truly ridiculous. He is the best in form I've used on this game, regardless of budget. He's the best in form I've used. Look at that finish. I mean, I can't recommend him enough. Go and give him a go. Play him striker, centre forward, cam, centre mid. I don't mind. Just use him because he is very, very good. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comments down below if I did miss anyone out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.